like you ever felt. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Good Melanin Mafia, it's your favorite Melanin Queen back on the muck and sing. Let's get all right, y'all. So, I'm here with my first um seafood boil. Um, I got it from this place that's up the street from me, it's called Red um, Red Crawfish. And I got a uh, um, um, I got a um, crab leg, crab leg boil. So, it's just it's three clusters of crab legs, potato. Potatoes and corn, and where is my sausage? Oh, I see the sausage pieces in there. Oh. Wow, y'all look. One sausage piece, two, and that's it. He said, "All right, it's here now." So let me show y'all the platter. It's um, I got mild flavor or mild seasoning or whatever because I don't like no whole bunch of spice. I'm not a spicy person. I don't like spice. So I'm about to dig in because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day. All I had was some um, cherries and some Brazil nuts earlier. Um, yeah, so let me say my grace and get into it. Whew. All right. Yeah, so like, oh, and I have a bowl of butter. It's butter, garlic, and apple cider vinegar, and some seasoning, and it's the bomb. Like, I love vinegar and butter mixed with my seafood. But yeah, so like I was saying though, oh yeah, so thanks you guys for commenting what you want to see more in my um, mukbangs. So I'm gonna talk more. Yeah. It's lemony. I don't like my seafood lemony. It's like lemon garlic. It's all right. I just don't like, I don't know why people like all that lemon on their seafood. It's like, mm, like you eating citrusy meat. Like I, ugh, I don't know. I keep it separate. It's like, I don't like, um, cooked fruit like I hate like peach cobbler and apple pie and cooked fruit I don't want to I don't like my fruit cooked that butter though she hit mm. yeah but yeah I woke up today because I have um I had kickball practice so you guys don't know that I've started, I've been playing kickball now for two years. I started in 2017 and like, I got bit by a bug or something. Like I freaking love playing kickball. Like that's my thing. That's what my shirt says. It says Wix like kickball. You can't see the kickball part. Oh yeah, yeah. Kickball, kickball. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I had practice this morning. So I just ate some fruit and nuts before I went to practice and I've been at practice all morning, and then they end up extending it. We supposed to be done by 12, 10 to 12, and they end up extending it. So we didn't leave until like one something. So I am starving. Um, yeah. But um, y'all should check out, see in your area, if there's like kickball leagues and stuff like that. It is so fun. I used to love kickball like as a kid. And um, I didn't know. Mm, I thought it made a good taste. I didn't know that um, it was so competitive. Like it was like such a thing here or whatever. And um, two of my friends had um was talking, you know, telling me that they was playing kickball or whatever. And I just this was years ago. Told me they played kickball, and I was like, oh okay, that's pretty cool. I never thought about it because I'm not, I'm like not an athletic person. Like I'm not, I've never played a sport like ever. 
the most athletic thing I've done was um, I was in a marching band and um, I was a flag girl. But yeah, so I um, ended up finding a league that was uh, in my, this piece of, this little stringy thing, can y'all see that? Stuck to my finger, don't want to get off. There you go. A league in my um, area. And I played the first season and um, I actually won an award. I, I was most improved because, you know, clearly she had to get better because she started off sucking. Um, and um, that was my first season and I played in the spring. And I played in the summer of that year. And then the following year, 2018, I played on two teams in the spring season. Because one had uh, games on Sundays and the other had games on Saturdays. And they, they actually the practices, like one team practiced Monday and Wednesday and the other team practiced Tuesday and Thursday, so it just worked out. So I played um, on two teams in the spring. Then I did the same thing in the summer. And then in the fall, I did one team in the fall. And then like fall, winter, I did two teams again. Like one played on Sundays and one played on Saturdays and I did two teams. So now we're back in 2019. And I'm on... Um, just one team right now and I want to get on two in the in the in the spring so that's probably what's going to happen in my um, team I played with last fall I'll probably go back to that team and usually what I do is like if one team doesn't play a certain the next season then I just find a team that go reach out to the league and find out if it's a team that needs a player and just hop on that team and play but yeah, I love playing kickball, like love it. And um, literally ever since my first, um, the first team, first team was called Taboo. Um, they put me at Piction. Cause I mean, basically cause I can bowl, I can get the ball down the middle. And every team ever since then has had me at Piction. Like, and I don't, I don't mind Piction. It's just like a lot of pressure. Like you, every play starts and stops with you. You got to know where to play at, like calling out, you know, where to try to get the out at and stuff like that. And it's just like a lot of pressure. You get tired sometimes, especially if people like bunting short down the middle. That's kind of like your territory. So you have to go run and get it. And it just be tiring sometimes, especially when you don't have like a backup picture, which normally we haven't had a backup picture. So it's just me. And then you got like a double header. The game's usually like an hour long. You got a double header. It's like... She's tired. But yeah, I love kickball. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Can't get enough of it. Uh, I'm a type that like, if I'm sitting around chilling, I'll look at kickball games on YouTube. Right, I love it. And it's really competitive here. Like, it's mad leagues. Like, in Atlanta, I know of at least, like, four or five leagues. Like, some cities, mm, Don't have that many. But they got them here, honey. And she be all, I don't know. <clears throat> so, yeah. That's a fun little fact about me that I know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know y'all don't know that. Let me see what this corn talking about. You don't see that? I don't want to drip it out because it might. It's covered in that garlic. Mm. Let me see. And these juices.
Look at that food on my face. Mm. No. Yeah, I ever seen somebody eat corn and they be eating all over the place, be skipping kernels. Oh, that annoys me. <laughs> I hate that. Triple put that in the video. <clears throat> I got my hair done. Um, I told her, you know, it's something different. I just let her do, you know, what she do. You can't really see any hair. By the time y'all see this, I should have posted the video of, um, when I went and got my hair done. But I kind of don't, I don't, I don't mind it. It's not horrible, but like in practice today, like this little piece that's hanging, dangling in the front was getting on my nerves. And then the back is too like on my neck. So I think I might put the back into, um, into, um, some jumbo um, twists and then mm, put the back into some jumbo twists and then barrel roll these ends or something and pin that up because I can't do it. I'm still dangling on my forehead. It feels like something right there. It's irritating. Oh my goodness, speaking of irritating y'all. So my homegirl is starting to um, get into doing lashes or whatever. One of my teammates, actually. And um, she um, asked me to come over so she could practice on me. And I could be a model for her. And she did these. Mm. Mm. She did these individual lashes. It's my first time getting them done. I don't know how y'all do it. Like, first of all, you can't wash your face normally because you got to be careful to not mess with the lashes. Then, like, that's something that happened in practice today, too, y'all. While I'm running and, you know, trying to catch a ball or whatever, and the, this, the, the loose part in the back of my hair ended up flinging in front of my face and got stuck on my eyelash, and it happened twice. I said, what kind of, I was sitting in there trying to put, and it's literally, like, stuck on my lash. You know you can't put a lashes off because it'll take your lashes off with it. So I'm sitting here fighting, trying to get my hair off my freaking eyelash. Like, I, didn't, I can't take it. I'm, mm -mm. I don't know how y'all do it. So potato. A half a potato. They could have gave me a whole potato. Like, it's literally just one half of a potato. I don't appreciate that. You could have gave me a whole potato. That's just 30 bucks. They could have gave me the whole tape. And more sausage. Mm. And the sausage hitting too. It tastes like juicy crab sausage. Juicy crab is all right. It's kind of reminds you of it, but they don't have no things like this with three cluster. So, she's gonna come and be her model. It's my first time getting some individual lashes and stuff, and I don't want them again. Thank you. They really look natural and stuff, but it's just irritating. Like, I need to be able to wash my face the way I want to wash it, and that's just it. And I need my hair to not get caught on my eyelashes like that. I'm not used to that. Like, what in the world? And I don't play no games with uh, crab legs. Like, I don't leave no meat no meat behind. Like, no meat gets left behind. I don't play no games. So, but Big Brother, that's my show. Mm. Mm. And I'm behind, but I'm glad Candy and Carol are sticking together regardless of their differences. It's kind of like they got an unspoken Black Girls Unite rule. And they, you know, trying to 
this each other. I've seen like on Instagram, I haven't seen the episode, but it was something like Tamar stood by Candy or something like that. I don't know what, what happened, what, why she ended up, because last episode I looked at, Candy wasn't even on the block. This is some sweet tea. They gave me some sweet tea while I was with them. But Candy wasn't even on the block. So I'm like, what did she have to vote? She didn't she had to vote to keep Candy there. Like, how that happen? I don't miss that episode, so that's the one I gotta see, but I'm glad they stick them in. But that's my show in the summertime. Oh my goodness, I love Big Brother. I've been looking at Big Brother for years now. And I feel like everybody act like, oh the 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 hmm. The point of the game is to lie and the backstab and all. Like, I feel like, no, you everybody go in it like they have to be liars and deceitful and all that other kind of stuff to make it to the end. But I don't, I don't do that. Uh, 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 excuse me. <laughs> I'm eating, so don't try to act like y'all don't be burping when you be eating because you do. And if you don't, you hold it in, you gassy. Mm, gassy in your ass. No, I mean so. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I love it, brother. I need to see that episode so I can know what's going on. Oh, do y'all ever do this? I like to sit some of my meat. Like if it's like a little bit, I don't feel like dripping it and stuff. Let it sit and marinate and leave it at the end. I be double. I need to get into that. They put a lot of garlic on this, like, it's mad garlicky. I mean, it gives it flavor and stuff. Like, yeah. I wish I bit my lip. Excuse me. Please don't be in my comment talk about burping because I don't know who eats without ever burping. Like, how do you not burp? Or maybe, I don't know, I'm just gassy, but I always usually burp when I'm eating or something. And I'm not full, so it ain't that. Mm -hmm. I hate my skin, I'm chewing. I can't break it down. Mm -hmm. You ever be asleep and you wake up and like a song just be on your mind and that song like be on your mind like all day long. Like, oh my goodness. I do that all the time. Like today for some reason it's um, Ella Mae Close. That's I love that song. I love that CD, period. But um, that song, I've just been singing that song ever since this morning. I played it like maybe, I don't know, four or five times this morning. And I'm still singing it. And it is like three. Mm. No. I'm trying to debate this. I don't know my vlog the whole time. Not vlog. Um, record until I finish. Well, I'll stop it before I'm done. But I don't. First of all, I don't know if I have, if I have enough memory to record the whole time because I'm never getting through all of this. Cause fuck you, man. Um. But yeah, I don't know. Wonder if I should just end it now or before it end up dying like last time. Well, I remember getting full. I guess we're just gonna ride it. Ride it till the wheels fall off, huh? Let's, let's ride it. <laughs> let's ride it. I'm gonna get it big. Big time. I didn't get any of my seafood. It's not gonna happen. Look at this. I guess it's been sitting and just chilling. Like. Mm hmm.
Mm. I don't think what's another one of my shows. Um, I actually miss this week too. Love after life. Oh, excuse. Love after lockup. Oh my goodness. That show, so many of them people, I'm just like. Mm, mm, mm. Like, first of all, why do you love looking for love with people in jail? Then there's like the one guy, I can't even remember his name, but he got like the black girl. And when she got out, she, she fell and his uh, teeth fell out. Like, why you got here getting her like $90,000? Over the course of the time of day, but nigga, what? First of all, you don't look like you even had ninety thousand dollars. Just been honest, but how you just giving that money away? Like, who 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 does that? And then that so fucking high amount. Mm -mm, that black dude that got the black girl that he in love with, but the baby mama that he um. He ain't trying to fool with it, but she's definitely the one that came and got him out of jail. Like, child, I can't deal with this. Like, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be, wouldn't be me. Hmm. skin is right. Like I like my sausage skin cooked hard so I can eat it. Like, if it's not cooked hard, then it's, it'd be all chewy. And I'm not just swallowing something that's like chewy that kind of like feel like paper and stuff. I'm not about to just swallow that and have it sitting on my stomach. Like, I feel like if I'm eating, I should be able to break it down and swallow it in small chunks, not like a paper filling. Like, uh, I don't like it. I don't like coconut for the same reason. Like, I feel like I can't, I don't know. I just don't like the way coconut feel. And I don't, I don't, first of all, I don't like the taste of coconut. But <clears throat> I try eating like the Samoas Girl Scout cookies, which I don't like. But even if I, when I did try them, I eat the cookie and had a chocolate and stuff like that. And then have a mouthful of coconut at the end. Like, I can swallow it. It feel funny in my mouth. Like, I, I feel like it's just not broken down all the way. Have someone to comment if they want me to do a weight loss video. I just want to talk about weight loss while I'm sitting here crushing, but if you girl, we all eat. But no, I used to. I used to be roughly 70 pounds heavier. So um, I'll do a, vi oh, a video. Look at this, no no meat left behind. I'd be so thirsty to get every little drop. It's ridiculous. But yeah, I'm gonna do a weight loss video. So y'all comment below, let me know what other types, <clears throat> types of videos I wanna see from me. I'm gonna keep this party rolling. I usually like to eat my seafood with like a a wine cooler. And I don't have it in here. But I don't know. For, me. for some reason, that just goes. It just goes together. We eat seafood with a wine cooler. And I like the Seagram's Jamaican Me um, Happy. Or oh, is it crazy? What is it? You're making me happy or you're making me crazy? You're making me something. But that's my go-to one. I feel like I can always get, and drink like a couple of them. And it's crazy that I can get like a bud off them. 
I don't play no games with them things. See, I didn't give me a bud, so I don't like that. Maybe a dollar. A dollar at um Kroger. Yes, sir. Oh. Spoke too soon, huh? Got too happy. Craig looks at calm your happened. I don't know if y'all mm. seen or heard the <laughs> the um the video. I got heard him about the video with the girl getting raped in the um club opera here in Atlanta. But yeah, I didn't see the video. I just heard about it because I'm like, yo, if it's like a girl getting raped in the club, like, I don't want to see that. Like, I'm just not interested. I feel like we become so desensitized and stuff because everybody just records stuff and we just look at it. Like, you look at somebody getting killed and you look at, you know, somebody getting choked out, somebody getting shot, just walking regular, and getting shot and getting stabbed. And I don't, I don't want to see nobody getting raped. But, so I can't really form a an opinion on it. I thought it was rape or whatever, but I've heard people talking about it and um, seeing like videos and stuff like that. And I saw some on Instagram, like her brother and was it like her brother and her sister? They was like, she's lying. Something like she married. Um, I seen stuff like um, somebody like the lady who did my hair. She said she saw it and she was like, the girl was being loud and ratchet the whole, the whole video. But then when it was happening, at some point she was like, stop get off me or help me or something like that and that but mm -hmm. you know she was real low when she was saying that but like before that she was you know all leaned up on the dude putting her neck on his neck and just laid back on him and stuff and she said she think what happened was Dude was fingering her because he said she didn't have no jaws and stuff on. So she think dude was fingering her. And um at some point he ended up putting in her butt. Fingering her in the butt. And that's why she um was saying, like, no, you gonna do me like that or something, like stop, don't don't do that. Like, I don't know. But I didn't see the video. I don't wanna see the video. I I don't know. They said after what she went on stage just twerking and twerk on him. I don't know. So, of course, rape is never okay. I just feel like something in the story ain't adding up. Like, if you was drugged and stuff, how you are right to go and twerk and stuff? Or I, I don't know. It seemed like you would be pissed. Like, you was too out of it to push him off of you when it was happening. How were you okay to go and twerk? I don't, I don't know. So, I don't know. Something, something don't make sense. I don't know if the timeline is wrong or the twerking happened before or what, but that story, I don't know, something sounds weird to me. It just don't make that much sense to me, but what do I know? I 
I'm so mad they literally gave me two slices of sausage. And I asked the dude, because I've never been to this place before. But I asked the dude, I was like, you know, what comes in the boil? Because it was one that had like, it was, it was 28. But it had like shrimp, clams, crawfish, and stuff like that. And so that's what I was looking at originally. But I was like, can I just get it with um, uh, uh, crab legs and shrimp? And I was like, you take the keep the mussels and the clams and just give me the crab legs and the shrimp. I was like, oh no, we can't. We can't. What did it say? We can't substitute the crab legs. Like everything else you can substitute. Like you can get double shrimp if you don't get something else. Or you get double clams, but you can't do nothing with the um with the uh crab legs. I'm like, mm, that's convenient. But yeah, so then I asked them, but I saw this um this thing. It was a crab leg boil or something. And I was like, well, how many crab legs come in? He's like, three clusters. I was like, oh, fine. I can roll with three clusters. I know I can put that about, honestly, I could probably eat about seven clusters myself. I know I had. I know I can. I've done it before. But, um, yeah, so I'm like, okay, we can, we can roll with this three. And he's like, I asked him how much corn and um, potato. He said one potato, one piece of corn. I didn't know he went one half of a potato because that's not a potato, that's a half. Mm -mm. And he said, and two sausages. I was like, oh, okay. two sausages, right. Two slices of a sausage. I, I should smack him. Two sausages. You know, you go anywhere and buy a sausage and it, this is one sausage, you go buy a sausage and this is what you buy. You don't that, like two sausages. Okay. I feel played. Tell me some. Two sausages. Why this little piece wanna? I got to break it all the way up to get the full piece of meat. I don't appreciate that. So yeah, I'm trying to convince my mom to, well not now, cause I've been telling her for the longest, to make a YouTube channel, like she can cook. Like, like when I say my mama can cook, you know how most people are like, oh yeah, oh, my mama's cooking up. No ma'am. And I put money on this, like my mama's cooking is gonna blow your mama's cooking out the water, period. Every time. Everything, like, she got a big one. Yeah. Hold on. I love the combination of this butter, garlic, and vinegar. Like the vinegar. Mm. Mm. Man, it's gotta be Lando Lakes butter. You can have other butter, but ain't nobody butter hitting on Rando Lakes butter. Period. Mm, my mouth. But yeah, so I'm trying to convince her to start the cooking channel because first of all, she throws down. Second of all, she does every bit of ratchet. She can be funny. Like, to me, sometimes I'd be like, Mom, that was such a mama joke. Like, she'll say a joke. I'd be like, oh, that's such a mama joke. But I'm trying to convince her to get on here so the world can see how good she throws down because she throws down. I'm trying to get her to open up a restaurant. Like, I'm serious. Like, she throws down and I, I stand by like 100%. Like it's not even like, oh, she went good food. Like, oh yeah. Like, no, this is good food that she should sell and it's going to bring millions. Like she can cook. I'm like, what's your favorite place to eat, Carlita? Um, my mama's cooking. <laughs> like for real. Like I don't, I don't have no play, favorite restaurant to go to. Like I, I want my mama to cook me something. Like, and that would be acting funny too. I go home. And you know, she cook and she be wanting to invite everybody over to eat and stuff like that. I'd be like, what? I'm gonna eat this. I don't need you. <laughs> Give me stuff. Like, I got it. Like, I don't. Especially if I paid for it. Like, this is mine. Well, bad Thanksgiving dinner. She wanna invite everybody over, baby girl. 
They didn't put it on this. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's rolling. We still going. We got, what, 36 now? Battery popping. Memory still going. What's good? Y'all comment down below. Let me know if you like that intro song. Like Jenkins fire. My girlfriend hooked it up. He is the one. She's down to a cluster. I told y'all I'm not playing no games. I can eat for sure, at least at the minimum, seven. <laughs> at the minimum. If we go to like this spot here called um Jackery Factory. Hold on. I have to choice now. I can't do it. Like, mm -mm. But yeah, Daiquiri Factory be having um, unlimited crab legs on Mondays. And, mm -mm, okay. and they try to say something like, you know, they say it's unlimited. This corn hitting on low. Mm. Head. Like it's sweet and just bomb in the vinegar, so mm. but yeah, so you know they have unlimited crap. So they try to say, Oh, keep biting my lip. They keep saying that it's unlimited, but the last time we went, honey, well, they try to say something like, Because I was. <laughs> I guess I was crushing and she didn't expect me to crush the way I crush. And um, she was like, yeah, something, the limit, 20, 20 or 22 or something, you getting close to the limit. The it, There is no limit. Like, what do you mean I'm getting close to the limit? Ain't no limit. So I'm, I'm just doing. Mom was like, you know, we're here with three other people that's eating, getting unlimited. So if I'm getting close to my 20-something limit and they stopping and tapping out at five, we still got, you know, that's 15 each that I can eat because they ain't gonna eat it. Like, don't tell me I'm gonna close to my limit because, um, first of all, it's no limit. And second of all, it's people here that I can't eat there. So, but I can, I can put them back. Mm. That's why I don't plan to do only mukbangs because. I know I can eat, and I can put it right, and I kind of get, I only kind of get big. Now, I am active, but I'm still, I ain't trying to, I just already know, and it ain't gonna happen. I'm not even gonna, I go as now, but I'm not gonna be like a everyday type mukbanger that's eating out and like, uh-uh. Cause I know I'll, I'll get big cause I can crush and I gotta keep it cute. Uh, oh, excuse me. Don't judge me. Cause you burp too. But yeah, there's a couple spots here that have like the unlimited crab legs. But I feel like it's all about the seasoning, like what what they have on them. Like I love Daiquiri Factory's um, seasoning, like what they put 
on their on their crab, like what they cook in their crab legs and they um the butter sauce and stuff they put on them. I went to this other place um, called Atlantis. They have unlimited crab legs on Wednesdays. Um, I didn't like how they were tasted. I mean, I still crushed because I'm going to get my money's worth, period. But the taste, I was just like, eh, I don't know. It's, I don't know something with their seasoning that I just I ain't pressed about. Juicy crab, they don't have unlimited. But I get, you know, I go to Juicy Crab every now and then. But I just don't like how, you know, you pay so much and you don't even, like, you get one claw, one crab leg claw in a, um, in a boil like where 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 why is that okay like no i need more than ugh, one and more than one cluster and i don't really like getting shrimp mm. i don't really like steamed shrimp so i just really prefer all crab legs but y'all mm, let me tell you I should have got two corn and no potato had I known. That corn is here. The best spot here to get seafood. Uh, it's called VIP Seafood in Jonesboro. In the hood on Terra Boulevard. But listen. Oh my goodness. It's so good. It's so good. Their seafood is the bomb. It's, it doesn't come in like a boil. It comes in like a pan and stuff like that. Or whatever. And it's seasoned it with some potato corn and broccoli. They put broccoli with theirs. And they got eggs and stuff like that you can get. They got crawfish. Um, I don't really fool with crawfish like that. Crawfish is like chewy little waste of time. Like, I, I don't have time for crawfish. They, they taste good. And the crawfish in um, New Orleans I love, but... I don't got time. But their seafood, oh my god. I get the um a platter with um steam uh uh catfish. Bang it. I love their seafood, but it's so far from here, like man, it's literally like an hour to go get seafood sometimes and I can't do it right, we go. But that's my go-to spot, for real, for real. Like, when I want some seafood, I go there. But I don't like, again, it's one cluster. And you can add a cluster, but their scale be off. Because it'd be like, one cluster, they try to see it be like, um, what'd they say? Maybe 10, uh, eight, I don't know, whatever they try to say, a pound, but like one cluster be like $11. And I'm just like, that ain't right. Cause if you go to Kroger when, uh, and, they, and they have their crab legs on sale, it'd be like $10 a pound, $5 a pound, whatever. But even like when I go, I might get them for like $10 a pound. One pound be like four clusters or something. So I'm like, how was your one pound, one cluster? But I can go to So y'all, my storage got full. I'm down to one leg left and two bites of corn. So, well, one bite. That's two. So I'm going to go ahead and close out now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you know when a new video is coming through. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Love you. Peace.